Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you are a new subscriber, thank you. I do appreciate the support. If you're a long time subscriber, thank you as well. Today, I'm just gonna go over the gear that I'll be taking with me on the Arizona Trail. I'm just gonna start with the pack. I'm gonna quickly go over a few things and then I'll lay everything out in more detail and we can take a look at some of the smaller items I'll be taking along with me. This is a pack made by ULA Backpacks. It's the Catalyst, which is their largest version. It's not ultra light, but it's three pounds, which is pretty light and it just carries the weight well and I've had it for a few years and I really like it, so I'm gonna stick with it. I've got just a basic camp towel here that I just kind of hang off my pack with the safety pin. One little quick tip, these little safety pins, they are invaluable. You know, if you cross a stream or whatever, you get your socks wet, if they start sweating, hang them off the back of your pack. You can hang your underwear off the back of the pack, air them out, it doesn't matter. It's not a fashion show out there, you just gotta get things done however you can. Have a baseball cap, and then I also have my umbrella for sun protection, which I'm sure I'll be using that a lot. Spin it around here. It's got huge side pockets. I'll be carrying two liters in each side. So that's four liters of water total in the bottles. Each one of these is two point is two pounds five ounces. So that's at least ten pounds of water there. I'll have a water bladder with me that holds another two liters. So potentially I could be carrying six liters of water, which is 15 pounds, which is a lot. So hopefully not, but I'm prepared to do that anyway. All right, let's spin this around. For those who are interested in how I film my stuff, see if I can get this out. Basically, I have a little iPhone clip here. Well, anyway, you can see it. It just goes across my sternum strap, sits right across my chest. My phone's always there, it's easily accessible. I've used this uh, for several years. I used this technique on the JMT and it worked out well. Then I have a lavalier mic attached to my right shoulder strap, which sits on top of my Garmin, like such. Fell off. So I've got that, I'm just hiking along. My lavalier mic is right there. It just gets better audio than the internal mic on the iPhone, so I, I use that. Seems to do pretty well, and I used it on the JMT, so I'm gonna stick with that as well. I will have this 700 milliliter bottle on my left shoulder strap, and that's pretty much it for the outside. It's got uh, pretty large hip pockets. You can carry granola bars or sunscreen or whatever, whatever else you may need. I'm just gonna quickly take this off. I wanna show you kind of the little packing pods that I use. These packing pods are made by Hyperlite gear. And they just help organize things really well. And I think they do a great job. So there's that. It's got my tent, my sleeping pad in it. This one just has miscellaneous stuff, power banks, charging cables, wet wipes. Anyway, we'll look a little closer at that in a minute. And then this is my food bag. It's just a Z-Pax food bag. It's got right now five days worth of food in it. Camp clothes or sleep clothes, I've gotten this one. And the very bottom is my sleeping bag. Stuffed in here, and I'll, I'll show you that a little bit more um, in a few minutes. So that is that. It's just nice if I get to camp and I need something, I can just pull out these packing pods and then shove them back in just as quickly and get on down the road. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to lay everything out and we can look at things a little bit more in detail. All right. Okay, here's all my gear that I took out of my pack and I have it laid out on the bed here. So let's just take a, a little closer look at everything. 
Okay, these are the two jackets that I'll be taking. This is a Mont Bell. It's a rain jacket and windbreaker. It's super light. And this is my puffy coat. It's an Arcteryx Cerium SV. I know it's the kind of the extreme version, a little heavier than what I need, but it's just the one that I have. Probably going to be a little overkill unless it's really cold at night or in the mornings. Okay, these are my hiking clothes. I've got a Magellan boonie hat. These are active ice outdoor research sun gloves to keep my hands from burning every day while they're sitting on top of the trekking pole it's a neck gaiter nothing fancy about it just uh i think it's a magellan neck gaiter as well okay i hike in two pairs of socks i always wear these in gingy toe sock liners and then on top of it i always put a pair of darn tough socks and these are these are the running they're not the hiking version they're the cool max run quarter quarter height sock but that combination has worked well for me and i don't think i've actually had a blister since i started using it didn't get anything on the jmt and anyway so that's that works really well for me i've got exo officio underwear and this is my hiking shirt same one i hiked with on the jmt it's just a pfg columbia kind of moisture wicking works pretty well Columbia Silver Ridge hiking pants. The, this is the exact pair that I hiked in on the JMT. All right, and then I'm going to take one extra pair of hiking socks, one extra pair of underwear, and I'll be hiking in the Ultra Long Peak. I think this is the, this is the older version, the 4.0 version. They just came out with the newer one. But I've got 100 miles on these, and I've also sent another pair about halfway down the trail. I'll mail them myself. Or a friend's going to mail them, actually. And then I always put in aftermarket insoles. These are the super feet. A little dirty from hiking. So hopefully those do the trick. And these are the extra clothing items that I'll be taking. A beanie hat. I'll be sleeping in these darn tough socks. They're a little bit heavier version than the ones I showed you a minute ago. The running ones. I'll be sleeping in the... BCG pair of just uh, running tights and this uh, icebreaker merino wool shirt it's, it's super super light so I'll be sleeping in that or if I get in town I need to wash my normal hiking clothes I can wash these wash those while I wear these and then and then go ahead and wash them up as well and I'll be taking I don't even know if I need a mosquito net I have no idea but I'm gonna take it, it doesn't weigh anything so be better to have it than than wish you had it and just a super light pair of uh, under armor shorts to wear in town as well sunglasses obviously okay this is my poop kit so got me a little trowel here a little metal trowel to dig your hole with toilet paper i've taken the cardboard out of the middle to shave a little weight um, wet wipes and yes, I have a odor-proof bag by OPSEC. They're waterproof, odor-proof. You can uh, you can keep poo in them, see? But I will be keeping dirty toilet paper. You have to pack out your... Well, you don't have to, but you should pack out your toilet paper. If people didn't imagine what the trail would look like, yeah, you may think it's gross, but it'd be a lot more gross to have toilet paper blowing all over the place so i will be packing out my toilet paper all right so move on to the electronics here uh this is a stick pick it basically goes on the end of my trekking pole if i need to kind of get my camera out a little further from something so i've never used that but i'm gonna take it took this on the jmt it's just a little tripod worked pretty well this is the clip that I had on my sternum strap on my pack that I showed you a minute ago. My phone just sits on it. Came with the OtterBox. This is my battery bank. This is the 20,000 milliamp battery bank. And then I picked up a smaller 10,000 milliamp battery bank. Both brands are Anchor. Those are really, really good brand. And an Anchor charging cable with uh, dual ports on it. 
I'll take uh, earbuds. I don't ever listen to music on the trail. I just try to get in my head, <laughs> which can be scary. And these Sans Disc uh, memory sticks. And I don't know how that got in there. And this is my Garmin GPS, so I can, uh, if I need search and rescue for any reason, I can get a hold of them. I can also text on this, and it has topo maps and some various other things. It's really a cool thing, kind of a peace of mind. And this is this is the lavalier mic that I have attached to it. The brand is Edutige, E-D-U-T-I-D-G-E. -E. Anyway, I just had this kind of thing wrapped around here, and and it kind of holds it close to my mouth so it picks up the audio pretty well this is my night core in you in you 30 in you 32 it's got several uh, functions on it low medium high extra high I don't know what the lumens is on it I can't remember and then it's got uh, the red lights as well so oops stop okay all right, so that covers all my electronics. And this is my water filtration kit. It's the Sawyer water filter. It screws onto this bag. It'll also screw onto a water bottle. This is just a knock outdoor bladder. You just slide that off, put your water in, squeeze it down, filters out into a smart water bottle, which I will have. Also, there's a gasket, a little rubber gasket that sits in there. Take an extra because if you lose that, it kind of renders your filter useless. There's going to be some sketchy <laughs> water on this trail, I think. Maybe some cow ponds, cattle tanks. If it's really bad, I will filter it and then I will actually treat it with this Aquamira water treatment. Put seven drops in here, part A, seven drops part B. Let it set for five minutes and then you pour it into your water. Pour it, dump it into a liter of water and that will give you a little extra treatment and peace of mind. Okay, this is just at night to clean up with a toothbrush, which I've cut the end off. There's no sense in having a full-size toothbrush. Dental floss, toothpaste, just a little kit, some Q-tips, a little fingernail file, clippers, tweezers for all the thorns and stickers that I'm sure I'm going to get while I'm out there. Oops. My face mask that I'll take with me uh, for COVID. And again, I went over this. Ibuprofen, magnesium, chondroitin, and... Well, I don't remember. Something else. Okay. My glasses. I do wear contacts, so I will take two extra pairs of contacts. I just clean my hands as best I can at night. And so far, I haven't had an issue with infection or anything. Just a small deal of that. And kind of my medical kit here in just a second there's some gold bond yeah chafing's a real thing if you ever hike never had it but i don't want to be without something should i get it and some sunscreen it just kind of goes on the on the, with a the stick so that's pretty pretty good i'll need that blistex is the only thing that keeps my lips from getting cracked and bleeding i've got leuco tape wrapped around it if you never heard of leuco tape all this other stuff for blisters, it will come off when it gets wet. It'll come off in five minutes. Leuco tape, L-E-U-K-O tape. You can buy it off of Amazon or whatever. It is sticky and it will not come off material. You take it off. Okay, my little cork ball just to roll off, roll my feet on, or if I got you know stiff muscles, I can uh, roll that along there to kind of help out a little bit. Polysporin for cuts, scrapes, whatever. And this is my medical kit. It's not a lot to it. Um, Steri strips for when I need stitches. This is uh, for burn or whatnot. A uh, little gauze, three inch by three inch piece of gauze. Uh, kind of some little butterfly band aids or whatever. And I think there's four other band aids in there. And one, one bigger one. A couple antiseptic towelettes. After bite from when I get stung by a wasp or something. Benadryl, and like I touched on earlier, Imodium, extremely important. Don't want to get caught without that. And let me spin around here. This is just kind of miscellaneous stuff. This is a little sewing kit from Z-Packs, in case I have to sew something. 
Uh, this is a light load towel. You put a little water on them and they expand and they're highly absorbent. It's actually pretty heavy. I've never used it, but I thought I might take one. Earplugs in case I get stuck by another hiker who snores a lot. This is just a patch kit for my air pad, air mattress, and also my tent, should I get a hole in it. This is an extra buckle for my pack. If you get out there and bust it and you don't have a way to snap that, you're going to be carrying 35 pounds on your shoulders, which is going to hurt. Sternum strap, I actually busted one of these the other day when I was hiking. It was so cold, I think it just got brittle. And so I got that. A good friend of mine bought me this uh, little neck knife. It just slides in there, and then when you need it, you just pop it out. I will be wearing that around my neck. It's got, for those of you who follow other hikers, Dixie, her homemade Wanderlust little logo. So that's a cool little gadget. I think it's actually made by MT Knives. But that's pretty neat. I'm glad to have that. Carry this in my pocket. A little Swiss Army knife. It's got a pair of tweezers and a toothpick, which is invaluable, I think. Okay, moving on. There is a little mirror so I can see how horrible I look every morning before I film. <laughs> okay, this is my wallet. A little z packs wallet. Credit cards and a little cash. Uh, this is my spoon for my cook kit this is a long handled spoon gets down on those freeze dried mills pretty well polished bowl on it and this is my little cook kit i'll have to get a lighter when i get out there i can't ship that got luco tape wrecked around it you can't have enough of that and then this just old unfolds and then screws on top of that fuel canister that sits down right there this is the snow peak 700 seven or 750 milliliter little uh, pot that I will just really I'm only gonna boil water I don't know that I'll cook anything more than that um, another odor-proof bag by OPSAC it's a bigger one I will put all my trash in that all my food trash in that and anything else those are and they're and they're really thick it's a really sturdy sturdy bag so Good thing there. My black diamond carbon cork trekking poles. Got duct tape wrapped around it and more Luco tape. So I took these on the JMT as well. They do a great job. Okay, this is the packing pods that I showed you earlier. They're made by Hyperlite Mountain Gear. It's just a, a Dyneema fabric. Cuban fiber is often referred to. And they are waterproof, super, super light. And they keep things dry. My pack is not waterproof, so everything that's inside my pack will be in one of these. My tent stakes. Moving on to the tent. These are MSR mini groundhogs. I love these stakes. Man, they're good. Haven't broke one yet. This is a footprint, z -Pax footprint for my duplex. I've never used it, obviously, but with all the cacti that are in the, the desert portion, that might be something good to lay down so I don't get holes in the bottom of my tent. All right, I unzipped this. This is my Sea to Summit inflatable pillow. That is good for a good night's sleep. This is my Neo Air, Thermarest Neo Air X Therm. It's the newer one, so it's got the wing lock and one way valve on it. So these are really comfortable. I don't know what the R value is. I think the 4.8 or 9, I'm not sure. And then the pump sack, you just fill it with air, attach to that, and you force the air into it. My z packs tent, I'll include a picture of that here with that. Super light, 19 ounces, and uh, it's just an incredible single wall tent. So you will have to deal with some condensation issues sometimes. And my sleeping bag is in here, the Hyperlight um, pod. I'll also include a picture of that. And really, the final thing is my food bag. I already did a food video, but that's just a bag of tortillas. And then I individually cook a meal like day one. So it's got all my food for day one. That way I don't overeat and then I come up short on another day. It just, uh, it works well for me. And there are some, just some miscellaneous stuff, just uh, extras in here besides the the bags 
for each individual day. Honey, cinnamon, peanut butter. Mm. All right. Anyway, that's that. Okay, so that is all the gear that will be in my pack. And I'll be carrying with me. So, that's that. I hope you all enjoyed seeing the gear that I will be carrying with me on the Arizona Trail. If there are those who are planning their own through hike this year, hopefully you were able to maybe get some ideas that would help you with your own preparation. I am planning on doing one more video before I actually hit the trail, and it's just gonna be the short trip to get to Tucson. And um, I guess that's it. This thing's about to happen. Again, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Have a good day.